How much is social media an idol in your life? And especially as Christians, we are caused to take inventory of idolatry. And I know that for some of us, social media is everything. Let me tell you a story that happened to me last night. I was online and I saw a news story on the wall of a man that I I know. I actually, um, years ago, I taught at Whittier College. He was a student of mine at Whittier College. I've kept in touch with two students over the years, he being one of them. He posted an article, and he's not Christian, even though it was kind of confusing. It said he was on his uh, site, but if he is, he's uh, liberal in his theology because he's all about affirming the LGBT community. He posted an article entitled, Almost Everything You've Heard About the Anti-Gay Sweet Cakes Wedding Cake Case is Probably Wrong. And I read the article. And the article was, uh, as most articles are, you know, in Journalism 101, way back in the old days, they, they taught you that somehow being a journalist is about being unbiased. Everybody's biased. Everybody's got a point of view. Um, and hopefully, ideally, if you develop that as a vocation, you begin to recognize the importance of kind of giving somewhat of a balanced view, even though we've all got our biases. This particular story was absolutely so slanted and almost slanderous as it applies to the clients, the, the, the husband and wife that run this, uh, this uh, bakery in Oregon that were fined $135,000. We talked a little bit about them yesterday. There's a gag order, and uh, they're, they're not allowed to say anything as it applies to what is currently going down. Now, if you don't know the story, if you don't know uh, the interesting part about Oregon, I invite you to go online and Google the proverbial um, Bureau for, (laughs) as I'm doing it now, I want to make sure I give you the right information. Um, And, of course, my phone's not working. I think it's something like Bureau for... Uh, it, it's it's the, the, the overseeing organization locally in Oregon that somehow is involved with um, with these issues of equality and rights, and they oversee um, all of the stories uh, and all the investigations. And, and recently, as it applies to sweet cakes, uh, some stories started to break that there may have been a little bias going on uh, between they and the LGBT community. It's called the Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries. And you may want to Google them and just type in Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries bias, and you'll see a whole slew of stories that point to the possibility that they weren't just some uh, objective governmental uh, organization, that there, there's something amiss here. Anyway, that aside, my friend posted this, and I posted under his article. I said, uh, with respect, said name, you may want to Google Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries bias. And I I found your article kind of like high school journalism. An hour later, he deleted it. (laughs) Now, have I deleted things on my wall? Absolutely. So I sent him a private email and I said, uh, I I noticed you you deleted my comment. I'm sorry to see that. Um, maybe you can tell me your thoughts on it because I think it's important that we discuss this. And so um, no response. And then I get up this morning and I log on and I went to his particular page and he unfriended me. <laughs> and I was thinking, really? Really? So I sent him an email and this is what I pretty much said. Uh, I listed his name. I said, you've unfriended me now. No dialogue, no possible disagreement. Um, I have no need to be right here. I was inviting you to examine this case further. Uh, He mentioned a John Adams quote. I love John Adams. I said, you may want to look at your quote again because it had talked about equality and really hearing and discussing. And then I wrote, one of the things that bugs me 
about some of the LGBT movement as they are bullies and intolerant of other views. I said, I'm sad for you, my friend. Friends don't always agree on things, and I pray nothing but blessings to you and your wife. So here's where I'd kind of like to go with that. Number one, do you find social media being a dominant force in your life? 888-995-5552. And let's talk maybe specifically about Facebook. Do you find yourself spending a lot of time on Facebook? Facebook. 